What's going on guys, it's Kylie Great Tanner. I'm back with another Forza Horizon 3 video. And this video is going to be different. It might be a new series if this video does well. If it gets like 20 views and 20 views or more, then I'll probably do it. But, um, so today, or the other day, I was trying to, was buying some muscle cars. So I was like, I don't have enough muscle cars. So, I went and bought the Charger and a Hellcat. Or a Charger and a Challenger Hellcat. And I was like, hmm, I wonder which car is actually better. So I decided to get, so they're both 707 horsepower, they have the same exact engine in it, it's a crazy engine, and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna, I gotta do a video on this, so that's what I'm doing, I'm just, the uh, Char Challenger Hellcat is $75,000 and the Charger Hellcat is $80,000, so the Charger is just like $5,000 more expensive, but it's more of like a four-door family car, I guess. The Challenger get canceled will be like a, it's kind of like a family car because it is like you can set two people in back. But anyway, um, it's more of a sports car. So first, I decided to go with the char Charger first. So this is the paint job I have on it, and like it makes uh, basically makes the Hellcat logo a lot bigger. And so I left these cars stock for the first part to see which cars better stock, and then I went and upgraded them. So. Right now, I'm just like getting a good view, good view of the car, just kind of showing it off some, and then I will be at the drag strip shortly. But I predicted that the Challenger was gonna win because to me it looks more sportier, it looks more like a more sports muscle car to me, and I personally like the um, Ch Challengers better. But let's see how it goes. So I have the Charger out on the track, and. I'm about to run it, and it was actually surprisingly not that bad. So it the finish time was 31 seconds, it's like 31 seconds in like point 20 something. I think I didn't write the point down, but um, it was pretty nice, and it was hit. It hit it at 186 miles per hour, and you can just listen to the sound of it. It's a very nice sound. It sounds really good. It sounds like a muscle car. And I know when you put V12s in a car that it makes it makes it sound like a V12 and in Forza whenever you're constantly driving around in a V12 it kind of gets kind of old or the sound gets kind of old. So, um I think I said it, but I'm going to say it again. So, it's finished at a speed of 186, which is not too bad. It, I think it has it more had more top end speed than it did the acceleration speed, and also because it is rear rear wheel drive. So, um, that was the Charger, and so it was eighty thousand dollars for thirty one seconds, which is it's not too bad. I mean, there's some cars I've gotten to spend like almost a million dollars, and I've gotten they've come in um, more than thirty one seconds. So. For less than $100,000, 31 seconds is not too bad. Okay, so next up is the Challenger Hellcat. So, this Challenger Hellcat was $75,000, so it was $5,000 cheaper than the actual Charger. So, I was, I don't know, I might do pretty good, I might not. The Charger is actually... I think it's like a little bit lighter than the Hellcat because I know that the Hellcat is like 707 horsepower but they always they weigh so much which that means it like brings a power down on it because if it was 707 horsepower on like a little bitty like I said or something that I said is gonna fly but it just has a lot of weight to it so I have it on the track now and it actually finished at 31.95 seconds so the Charger actually beat it in a drag race but barely like there was less it's less than a second or so it was just so close cuz the Hellcat or the Charger got like 31 point like 20 29 or something I want to say so and the Hellcat or the Challenger got 31.95 seconds so almost bare almost two sec or 32 seconds which would be one about one second over but very close but the top the finish speed was 182 miles an hour and yes, there is a lot of traffic on the track right now, or when I was recording this. 
but just listen how this thing sounds. Again, it sounds very, very nice. So it finished, or I already said, so it also finished at 182 miles an hour, so, but I think in my, or in my opinion, the Charger has a lot more top end speed, top speed, and the Hellcat has a lot more acceleration and off the line speed. Because uh, once once it hit, I uh, didn't really look at it, but like once it hits like the top end of its speed, it starts slowing down a lot, and the charger still keeps pushing a little bit. But I think it does beat it on acceleration. So for five thousand dollars less, it did just fall just short of the charger. But now I'm gonna go upgrade them, and the way I upgraded these cars is I wanted to keep it more like original sports car. And I, or like not sports car, but like muscle car. And all the muscle cars are always rear rear wheel drive. So I kept them rear wheel drive instead of making them all wheel drive cars. And I kept the same engine in there because if you go to a V12, it actually loses seven horsepower. So it goes from 707 horsepower in the stock engine to 700 horsepower in a V12, which is pretty crazy. So, um. With the upgraded charger, um, it was about sixty-two thousand dollars, about sixty-three thousand for all the upgrades, and it finished at a speed of twenty-six seconds and two hundred eighteen miles an hour. So it did go definitely go down a lot, and I didn't tune them. I didn't try to make them where there was more top speed. Um, all I did was like basically max out the engine, the tire, or not like I made the back tires a lot wider, and all that other good stuff. But I didn't do anything to the engine or the, uh, the, like, all-wheel drive. I did not make all-wheel drive. And I didn't try to tune them or anything, so. You can see it now. It's definitely a lot quicker off the line because of those huge back tires I put on there. And I didn't put the biggest top tires on there. Or the front tires, not top tires. What am I doing? The, put the biggest... I did not put the biggest front tires on there because um, since it was a rear wheel drive I wanted to have the biggest rear tires on there so that was a charger it was again it was 26 seconds and 218 miles an hour so that's pretty good time and now the Challenger Hellcat though um, you know, sorry about that the, Char the Challenger Hellcat I didn't quite get an exact price of how much it was to upgrade but it also has a body kit on it but I didn't put the body kit on because I didn't want y'all to say like oh you put the body kit on that's that's why you, you, it was a lot better than the other one or something so I didn't want to do that because I didn't just want to I didn't want y'all to get upset about me putting it on and some of y'all might have even wanted me to put it on so um but after all the upgraders, then it finished at a speed of 27 seconds and 215 miles an hour. So again, it falls just short of the Charger. And, uh, I mean, it's still a very nice car, and I still think that it has a lot more acceleration than the Charger off the line. And once again, the Charger, the Charger like I said it has a lot more top seems like it has more top speed than the Challenger and there we go so it is confirmed that the Charger is the winner so and this actually really surprised me because I really thought the Challenger was gonna win so the Charger is going to be the winner for t this versus Jag Race battle. I don't know what I'm going to call it yet. So uh, the code for today's video is um, Charger since it won. So uh, if you haven't already been subscribed to me, then you and if you haven't seen any of my other videos, then you don't know what the code means. Basically, like if you're the first one to comment the code then you can get a shout out on my next video and speaking of the code last video nobody's gotten the code so uh, there is no shout out for that for the code on the uh, last video but I guess I can shout one person out which is Exels and um, if you haven't checked him out already then please go check him out I've shouted him out so many times 
because he's helped me so much with YouTube and uh, he tried to get the code and he commented like the wrong he's he said he saw it but he commented the wrong thing on it he caught he accidentally commented the person who got it on um, the last time but I mean I'll give him a shout out just for trying so thank you for watching um, let me know if you want me to do more videos like this battles and let me know if you want like a certain for me to do certain cars like if you say do a Chancenario versus a La Ferrari then I will I will go get a Chancenario and do a Ferrari so uh, any battles that you want to see just please let me know and if, if you have any good ideas let me know if you know a way to make the series better then please let me know and if you are haven't already subscribed to me then please subscribe and like um, it really helps me out and thanks for watching and I'll see y'all next time. Please enjoy this burnout.